Align M480L assembly demonstration. Landing gear assembly. Spare parts. Mainframe assembly. APSM flight controller. Motor arm assembly. Locate the landing gear assembly box. Here we have the landing gear assembly, landing skid, and gimbal mount carbon tube. Temporarily loosen the four screws. Install the landing gear skid. Adjust the skid position based on your CG or use these values. Locate the main frame box. Temporarily remove the canopy from the main frame. Flip the frame upside down. Temporarily loosen the tube mount screw with 2mm hex driver. Slide gimbal mount carbon tube into mount. Tighten the screws with your 2mm hex driver. Temporarily loosen the four 2x5x16mm landing gear screws on each side. Route the retract wire through the frame. Attach the landing gear assembly, then tighten the four screws. Here we have the APSM already mounted to the frame and the PCU is underneath. Now we're going to remove the upper plate. Disconnect the cable between PCU and APSM. Remove the four twist off screws. Using a 2mm hex driver, temporarily remove all 12 screws. Remove the upper carbon plate. Locate the GPS LED module. Route it through the wire organizer hoop. Route it through the opening where retract wire came through. Remove the backing from the double-sided tape. Tape it to the retract facing the rear of the multicopter. Now we're going to connect the retract wires. Route the wires through the wire organizer hoops. Note the polarity of the wires. Plug both wires into the gear ports on the PCU. Locate the motor tube assembly box. Notice the M1 to M4 labels on the tubes. Locate the M1 tube assembly. Temporarily remove the two 3x6mm screws. Notice an opening in the threaded sleeve. Stick a screwdriver inside to prevent it from rotating while taking the screws off. Locate the stickers on the frame. Notice the two arrows pointing to the two screw holes. Confirm matching stickers. Mount the motor tube assembly to frame. Temporarily fix the arm in place with the twist off screws from earlier. Install a 3x6mm screw removed from the motor tube earlier onto the lower plate. Tighten the screw with 2.5mm hex driver.
Repeat for the other arms. Here's what the completed assembly looks like. There's a black negative wire, red positive wire, and a black signal wire with three pins. Here are the power distribution cylinders. There's a positive cylinder and a negative cylinder. Route the wire through the wire management hoop. Connect the black wire to the negative cylinder. Connect the red wire to positive cylinder. Route the signal wires from the two front arms through the wire management hoop. Pull on the wire strap to tighten. When finished, go back and confirm all wires are connected properly. Remove the four twist-off screws. Route our signal wires through the upper carbon plate opening. And route the PCU wire through the upper carbon plate. Attach upper carbon plate back to frame. Double check to ensure there are no wire pinch under the frame. Install all screws using 2mm hex driver. Insert the twist-off screws and tighten. For the two rear arms, there are two holes for the twist-off screw. Use the other hole for this multi-copter. Notice the signal wires are labeled as M1 through M4. Plug each signal wire into the corresponding port on the APSM. Note the polarity. Now connect the PCU wire back to the APSM. Notice the polarity. Locate the APSM box. Take out the GPS sensor and route the wire through the hoop. Remove the backing from double-sided tape and mount the GPS onto the mount. Note the arrow need to point forward. Connect the GPS wire into the GPS port in APSM. Notice the polarity. Tighten the wire wrap. Mount the canopy back. Ensure it's properly latched to the lower frame. Installation complete.